I guess there's really nothing left to do but have some cake. <laughs> Success tastes so sweet. Welcome back to the Skilled Builders Guild. Thanks again for watching. It's episode eight and the finale of the Vanquish VS410 four dice budget build. This one with Josh from Harley Designs as always. And if you are familiar at all with our budget build offs, you know that this one is totally different. We used the wheel of four dice. Praise be to wheel to determine how much money we had to spend each weekend, what ridiculous tasks we might have to undergo each week in our efforts to upgrade and make the Vanquish four dice our own. Now this comes as an RTR of course, but this one is obviously quite different from that now. Lots of changes over the last eight weeks. And for the last week, if I'm honest, not much really changed for me. A streak of excellent spins led me to what you'll see next. Roll the tape. Am I spinning for you? Is that how you want this? You want no, this to go down that way? I don't because there's no <laughs> way that I could spin badly. Already There's no times. way you could spin badly eight times? I've, no, it's already, I've already done eight spins. There's no way it could be eight in a row. Like, it has to be a good one this time. To go first this time. Shoot. I, right, well, I, I love the wheel. And also, my truck's done. So it doesn't really matter. I've got ideas for next <sighs> week. But I don't really need to do anything because everything's already finished. I hope that you get the HD choice. That's what I hope. Oh, and then I have to use something? Then you have to you... do what I say. Is that how it works? Yeah. What stuff did you want to sell? You want like a list of all of the parts? That you want to sell, yeah. <laughs> Why? Because you're trying to you're trying to cheat. I can feel it. <laughs> like, I know you, you crafty devil. <laughs> like the original ESC for an example. Who's the... gonna buy that? There's the RC hobby is huge. There's people. So, okay. I know what's happening here. I know exactly what's happening. I would like to sell these items to nobody except vapor. It's all vapor guys. What no. he's doing is trying to cheat by saying I sold this, this 1060 for $800. So I bought a whole <laughs> other truck. You sold a bird with no head to a blind kid budget build is a fair and real contest and you're did trying you to go sell watch it. that video i sent you the link to yeah it was the first video yeah, <laughs> yeah. Watch that. i even misremembered you spent 90 dollars <laughs> on the first yeah, week yeah, of a 50 dollar yeah. budget bill right then i then i the next week gave myself 10 dollars. so i know how to do math <laughs> my penalization was bigger uh i don't think i like the sound of this so i'm going to uh kibosh this pathetic attempt that was my real that was my that was did my you absolute... honestly think i was gonna go for it too yeah i mean you go ahead parts off the... you go right ahead that's how this budget build has always worked potential you spin the wheel first i hope All you right. get HD choice so badly. Why? What are you going to choose for me? <laughs> oh, yeah, we know. No, no, no. Before I spin, we got to talk about what HD choice means. <laughs> I think when we did this originally, HD or SBG choice meant you had to use a part that the other person told you to use, not exact random, I'm going to make you do your next part blindfolded. You're not going to like. It says, per the rules, other persons picks a specific part, area, or task to be completed. <laughs> With the intention of that task being part of the truck. Because <laughs> if it's task and no, I get it, it for you... That... <laughs> I'm going to make you run 20 kilometers with that Ford Ice. <laughs> All right, praise wheel. I've had a really fun time doing this and it doesn't really matter what I get, but here we go. Here's the spin. Oh, it could matter. <laughs> huh? 
Hot Wheels week. <laughs> I forgot to hit start recording. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> I don't know why you're so happy. This means nothing. I get to buy more Hot Wheels and still have $50 to spend. <laughs> Praise wheel. Here we go. I, you know what? what before, before you spin, after your spin, I have a proposition for you. After the spin? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Actually, no, 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 wait. No, 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 no. Here's my proposition. I don't need the $50. My truck's done. So you can either spin the wheel or you can take my $50 budget. So that would leave me with 110? No, no. Oh, I only get the 50? No choice. Oh. <laughs> nope, I'm rolling the dice. Okay. Now, hey, before you spin the wheel, and I'm not just, I want somebody who's watching on your side, confirm for me what the spin is. Because <laughs> I don't want you pulling a fast one on me. Hitting the button. Spin the wheel. I'm not saying. <laughs> what is it? What is it? I'm not looking at the chat. I'm not looking at the chat. What is it? I'm letting your chat tell you. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even say it. It's that bad. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yes! <laughs> SBG choice. Wow! No! Oh, man! You should have taken that 50 bucks. Oh! <laughs> I'm not smug, I'm just happy. As you can see, Josh got exactly what was coming to him. SBG choice. And I chose for him not to do anything ridiculous. I could have been mean, but you know what? The wheel's been good to me. I'm not going to possibly ruin that for the next budget build because honestly, the wheel giveth and the wheel taketh away. <laughs> so for the final challenge, SBG choice, that's where I get to choose something for Josh to do. And I chose to make him design and print and add the actual wheel to the truck in some way. I'm really looking forward to seeing what he did and you should really go check out his final video. I'll be sure to put a link down in the description below. Now on to changes for me this week. I got Hot Wheels week again. Lucky me. <laughs> so $10 of my budget has to go towards Hot Wheels. But you know what? The truck for me is basically done. I've done everything I wanted to do to it. I've added a new servo. I've got a great ESC and motor. I've got kick-ass wheels and foams and using the stock tires. I've done a lot of cosmetic changes. I've got a full interior. I've got a driver. I've got a tonneau cover really honestly done just about everything I wanted to in this truck in seven weeks. So this last week, I decided to splurge a little and spend a little bit extra money on the old Hot Wheels. And I picked up one of these, the new Hot Wheels RCs. And of course it's a Porsche 911 GT3. I do like Porsches. Uh, and this one's actually in that lizard green that I painted last year's comp trucks in. So uh, it's kind of cool to see that too. Uh, this claims to be 64 scale, claims to be radio control. I haven't even taken it out of the box yet. Um, I wanted to see uh, if this was any good and um, if it's got potential for changing some existing Hot Wheels, maybe we can get all these electronics into something else. That would be pretty cool. Uh, it's got, <laughs> it. Uh, you can play with it on the tracks if you want or you can just drive it around on the floor. It's got a USB charger and a turbo boost. So um, kind of keen to see how this goes. It's like a toy review that I wasn't expecting I'd do. You know, I made this knife. Mm -hmm. eh, cute. Neat. Cute. Looks just like a Hot Wheels, only slightly bigger. Huh.
Okay, well, that's a remote control Hot Wheels. That's interesting. Instead of actually steering, because that would require more work, it actually uh, is like a tank almost, in that when it steers, it just varies the amount of throttle to one or the other tire. It doesn't actually turn the wheels. That's how they get around trying to fit all that into a tiny little car. But it kind of, it goes, man. It's got some speed. And then Turbo Boost does bring more speed. Yeah, that's crazy. It does make it fun for doing like spins. Whee! <laughs> ah, I did it again. Uh, that's a really nice little uh, pickup and uh, not very expensive for some pretty decent little performance out of a tiny little car. I'd love to see if we could take this whole thing off and put it on other bodies. Uh, that would be kind of neat. This one is plastic and it is, I bet you it's bigger. Oh, actually, you know, it's pretty close. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty cool little toy. I think, uh, I think that was a good purchase. And now on to actual truck stuff for the week. So I didn't just rest on my laurels and wallow in my own crapulence. <laughs> Mostly I did. <laughs> I painted the front bumper uh, because a lot of people didn't like the raw look. And to be fair, it actually looks pretty good all painted up. Uh, I just used uh, some etching primer first and then just sprayed some uh, hobby black flat paint that I had uh, from Vallejo, actually. A spray can from Vallejo. And uh, that looks really nice on there. It does kind of pull the whole room together a little bit. Now on to the other thing. Uh, you guys were all correct. It was one of those mesh back tailgate thingies from the 1990s. And I think it looks really, really good. I designed this in Fusion 360 and then I printed it in flexible TPU. So it's got a lot of flex built into it. It won't break. And I measured and actually got all the grommet points correct for the screws that exist in the back of the tailgate. I only had to print it once. I feel so good about stuff like that. It doesn't happen very often but I'm pretty chuffed on that one. If you want this file, just like the tonneau cover, I will add it to my Thingiverse page and I'll put a link to the Thingiverse page in the description below. All right, that's all I did this week. Not very much. I overspent on my Hot Wheels budget and I underspent on everything else, but you know what? I'm gonna take all that money I didn't spend this week and I'm gonna buy myself and Rebecca a really nice lunch. Most forgot to do a tally. Ridiculous. How can I forget to do these things? I do it every week. I forget to spend. I forget. <laughs> I just plum forget. Anyway, uh, 1862 from last week carryover, plus the $60 for this week, 10 of which had to be spent on Hot Wheels, but I spent more. Uh, $18.99 for the RC Hot Wheel, and we'll say $2 for the net on the back, uh, and uh, that leaves me with a total of $57.63 to spend on lunch and cake. Well, no, the cake I already had. So there you go, that's the tally. Uh, and $57.63 American to take Rebecca out for lunch. Nicole, I hope you're watching. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, that's it. That's the truck. This has been an absolute blast as usual. The wheel has brought so much more joy and sadness for some. Uh, I'm just so happy with how this all went. And it's been a really great pleasure making this Ford Ice feel more my own. And it does now. And uh, you know, I've learned more things and applied more uh, knowledge. And I have a me driving it. It's really cool. This has been a really fun one. I used a lot more Josh parts too. <laughs> the motor. Uh, the roll cage at the back here. Yeah, it's nice. It's really nice. And I'm happy to uh, I'm happy to say this one's done. And now I can't wait to go drive it. Because it's, uh, it's good. It's a good looking truck. I got everything on it that I wanted. I hope you picked up some tips from this one. Of course, Josh and I will do more budget builds in the future as more RTRs and more popular trucks come out. There will be more of these budget builds. And I hope that you will continue to watch them. My thanks, of course, to Josh and Vanquish 
and uh, just about everybody else that had a hand in this. And then uh, the spins of the wheel. I don't think I would have gotten anywhere close to this without such great fortunate spins. And that's why you don't disparage the wheel or change it every week, Josh. All right, praise be to wheel. We'll see you all on the next one. Thank you so much for watching.